back and as you can see we're going to be talking about terrific con 2024 so um, i'm going to do a little bit of a preview on uh, why i'm going to terrific con 2024 it's this weekend august 16th through the 18th we're going to talk about why this is my favorite comic con to go to in new england and um, if you haven't been why you should go to terrific con so um Let's get right into it. Um, hopefully, you guys got a chance to watch my last video. Um, it, we had a great time, you know, hanging out with my son. We went to a comic shop, an antique mall, and a brewery. So, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, so, going on to Terrific Con 2024. Um, I looked at the uh, the list, talked to a bunch of my buddies, and um, we're excited to go. And as you can see, that's, you know, going back and forth on the website, there are some great, great, you know, comic creators, um, celebrities. It's just a great show. It's, it's a show that's catered more towards the comic fan versus like the cosplayer, the general, you know, um, just the general fan that you often see like in fan expos and um, just bigger shows like... Uh, like San Diego Comic Con, for example, it's considered the Super Bowl of uh, comic shows, but it's not really. Uh, I want to be careful in my words here. I've never been there, um, but I'm not excited to go to San Diego Comic Con because it's not really uh, more of a comic creator type of show versus like some of the smaller mid tier comic shows that are more comic creator driven. Um, San Diego Comic Con, you go there for the, I guess, the allure. It's more of a fan expo. You go there to go to Hall H. You go there to cosplay. You go there, yes, to buy comic books and be creators. But it's it's just like, like I said, it's like the Super Bowl of uh, comic shows. Um, and you're starting to see a lot of that, you know, more with uh, comic cons, more being a fan expos, you know, and encompassing everything in between. Terrificon is the complete opposite. It's more of, you know, you go there because you love comic books. Uh, you want to go to meet the creators, the writers, the artists. You know, you do have some celebrities there as well that may portray some of your favorite characters. Or maybe you want to go meet your favorite wrestler, so forth like that. And um, there are tons and tons of comic book vendors. So, you know, it's definitely catered to you guys you know the people that are watching my channel you know the the you know when i watch your channel you guys are the you know the the actual people that read comic books you love comic books you like to share your stories about comic book love and passion so this is the type of show that you want to go to um as you see on the screen just a glimpse of who is showing up to terrificon 2024 um Unfortunately, I did not have the chance to go to it last year because, um, as you may or may not know, if you're watching the channel for the first time, I do a lot of travel work. So, that being said, last year, I was in Virginia during the summer. I was in Charlottesville, so I did not have the chance to go back to uh, Rhode Island and then drive over to Connecticut to go to uh, Terrificon. But uh, 2024... I'm closer to home. I'm still traveling. I'm uh, traveling. I'm living in Vermont right now. But uh, it is a weekend that I'm going to help move my family back to Rhode Island for preparation for the upcoming school year. So I will be home this weekend. So I'm going to actually drive over on Friday. And uh, I'm going to be there on Saturday. Just one day. Um, it's beginning my... Uh, Eight day stretch off before I go back to uh, Vermont. So uh, I am going on Saturday. So if you guys are there on Saturday, come by, say hi to me. Let's chat. You know, let's talk about comic books. Let's just hang out. Just say hi. You know, I'm very approachable. Um, if you like beer, like I talk about on my channel, let's go grab a beer. I'll buy a beer. Beer on me. Um, so just like you know, come by, say hi. Uh, if you don't drink, that's fine. Let's talk about comic books. Uh, let's see who you guys are gonna, you know, there to meet and uh, just have a good time. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, I'm gonna go into the the comic guests, and then we can uh, see who are you know who's gonna be at this year's uh, comic show. 
So um, as you may or may not have seen on the screen, Jim Lee right there is headlining uh, as the top creator for this year's show. And um, let's take a look. So as you can see, they always put on the front, you know, who's going to be there, um, Jim Lee. And apparently he's only going to be there on Saturday. You can pre-order autographs through him. Um, well, it's actually not through him. It's it's through the page. But um, but um, I believe he's charging fifty dollars. So I personally don't know if that's a good or bad price. No idea. Obviously, Jim Lee, if you don't know, um, is a comic book legend. You know, in my opinion, he's a legend. You may not think so, but I think most people would agree. Uh, he's definitely a legend. Um, great, great artist in the '90s. And um, I've never personally met him before. I do love his work, but um, he's charging, I want to say, 50 bucks. It could be 50 bucks a signature. Uh, it's a little pricey for me, but um, I'm personally going to pass <laughs> on uh, meeting him. I just, I, I got a feeling that, honestly, the lines are going to be extremely long. He's only there on Saturday, so... We, this is just my opinion. You know, you guys do what you want. I know there's going to be a lot of people there going there excited to meet Jim Lee, bring a bunch of books. I'm more of the um, conscientious collector. I am completely, I go into a Comic Con with a game plan. I have X amount of money ready to go. Um, I usually have a comic book list of books I am targeting, if, if so. And, um, you know, and then if I'm bringing books to meet creators, I have those ready in store folios, ready to go. And ultimately, I also want to go there to meet um, comic create uh, comic book YouTube, you know, content creators, IG uh, people that I talk to in the chat groups, and so forth. Um, so that's really my target for Terrificon. It's like I said, it's a great place to go to to meet people. Um, if you've not been there, it's actually at the uh, Mohegan Sun Casino. It, in my opinion, it has the best of both worlds, whether you like casinos or not. Um, it has tons of shops, restaurants, bars, uh, obviously gambling tables, if you like to do that, and hotels, all within the same location. A lot of Comic Cons may have one or two but not all of that all in the same location parking is free uh, which is also big if you go to like a New York Comic Con in San Diego you likely have to pay for parking parking is free um, I'm going on Saturday which I believe tickets were 45 bucks which is pretty reasonable 40 or 45 bucks I don't know with, with Ticketmaster I ended up paying like 56 bucks in fees but um, still very reasonable for the size of the con and uh, you can go in between, in and out of the uh, the hall, go get a bite to eat, um, all sorts of restaurants there, and just a good place to go hang out in between after doing all your comic book hunting, signing, and so forth. So that's my little rant on that. That's why I think Terrific Hunt is a great show to go to. So let's go into the actual creators. So like I said, Jim Lee is by far headlining it, you know, only going to be there on Saturday, so make your worth out of it if you want to go meet him. Uh, C.B. Sobolski, he's the uh, obviously the editor-in-chief at Marvel. He's there almost every single year, at least the last few years that I've been going there. Another big legend, uh, legendary writer, Chris Claremont, of course. If you love X-Men, you're very familiar with his legendary run during Uncanny X-Men. Um, I may bring a... I don't know. I may bring my... Uh, my one, one book to get signed by him. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go through the list. Mark Wade, another great writer. And uh, what I like about Terrificon on their uh, website, they they often put like uh, a few comic books in there to reference. Oh, he's known for this book or that book or this legendary story, you know, run or whatever. So I I do appreciate how Terrificon's uh, website does that. I take off that ear, but it's really annoying me. Um, so uh, let's scroll down further. Scott Snyder, another great writer. Uh, some people don't like him. I, I like a lot of his, uh, his, his titles that he's written. Um, 
but I'm probably not going to bring anything to get signed by him. This next person, I definitely will. I am a big, big fan of his, and that's Scotty Young. You can see here, right at the top, Twig Preview. Um, me and my son loved the Twig series. I believe it was six issues, five or six issues. I um, was kind of hoping there'd be some sort of spinoff or some, you know, storyline afterwards about Twig. We absolutely loved it. I'm going to bring my um, Twig book. I'm also going to bring one of my son's Twig uh, issues to get signed by him. I you know, asked him uh, today if he wanted me to because he's not going to go to the show. I'm going to be there all day. Um, for him, <clears throat> he's only five. For him to be at a comic show for you know, four plus hours is just too much. You know, he, it's, if you've ever been to a show, that show, it's, it's very packed. So, uh, but I do plan on getting my uh, Twig issue number one signed by Scotty Young. Um, it was actually a book that was A-OK -okay to me by my buddy Jade. So shout out to you, buddy. I'm going to get that book signed. Um, he's also written some other great stories too. He's, he's most notably known for his unique art style that you see here like on his Daredevil or his uh, Transformers, but I personally think he's a better writer than an artist. So that's a hot take, I don't know. But I do like his, uh, write, his uh, written work on Middle West and of course Twig. Um, there was another title too, I just can't think of it offhand. Another great writer is Jason Aaron, very, very well known for his uh, his title on Star Wars, and of course, Thor, God of Thunder. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to bring anything of, of mine to get signed by him. We'll see. i got to be a little strategical, too, because some of these guys will have big lines, and others may or may not. Um, me, personally, when I've gone to Terrificon on Friday, it's a great day to go to get signed by creators. There's not a lot of people there. Saturday is going to be, it could be a bit of a shit show. So we'll, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It could be. It could be. So we'll see. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so Brian Azzarello is going to be there, too. I do have my uh, Batman Damned that I would like to get signed by him. The only issue I have with that book is that book is such an odd um, size, being that it's one of the early DC black labels, and um, it's not gonna be easy to carry, and you know, if you've ever carried books at shows, you want it you know, to be as easy as possible, you know, to make your day, you know, you know carefree and, and just convenient. And that book is not. <laughs> Anything magazine size or bigger is just not okay in my book. Especially when you have to carry it along in a show all day. So I'm probably leaning as a no. Um, Mark Bagley, another legendary artist. I don't have to explain. He's done so many, so many great you know, um, pieces of artwork over the years. So uh, definitely somebody worth checking out. Um, Eric Larson, same as, you know, another one, a lot of great uh, artwork during the 90s, um, obviously in ASM, a lot of the image books as well, yeah, just great stuff. Walt Simonson, yeah, another one, uh, I would love to get, like, first Beta Ray Bill signed by him, um, he's done so many great works too, so that's, that's pretty cool to see. Uh, let's see, Charles Soule, another great writer, uh, big fan of his, um, great Star Wars uh, writer. Uh, most of these I have not read, but Star Wars, I've been reading some of his. There was um, another image title that I read by him that was really good. Uh, Post-apocalyptic, I just, I can't think of offhand. This is, this is what happens when you're going through all these, you know, content, uh, these uh, comic book creators and you're just like trying to, just draw a fog especially after a few drinks. <laughs> Next one is going to be Steve Epting. I can't say I know any of his work offhand, so I apologize. Uh, Tim Seeley, yes, I do know him. Uh, I'm not going to be bringing any of his. Um, oh, Stephanie Phillips is going to be there. I do have uh, Grimm. Uh, big fan of Grimm. 
Um, it came out a few years back from Boom Studios. I did love that title. Uh, Butcher of Paris. That was another great one. I don't have that book, but I've read it digitally. Really good story. Um, Terry Dotson. Oh, geez. Philip Kennedy Johnson is going to be there, too. Holy crap. All right. Um, another great writer. I personally love to see him write ASM because Amazing Spider-Man last, geez, probably four three four plus years has not been good i'd love to see him do a like a big big title like a flagship title like that that would be cool adam hughes speaks for himself i think he's a modern legendary artist um great catwoman covers uh oh, geez i don't know this is so many i just yeah catwoman wonder woman ah oh, so many so many i have a. Uh, I believe I have a Star Wars uh, cover signed by him as well. So that's pretty cool. Howard Chaikin, another legendary writer artist. He was just at Rhode Island Comic Con, I want to say a couple of years ago. Allison Soon, not familiar with her. Jamie, Jame, Jameson, nope, not, not familiar with her. Louise Simonson, that's pretty cool to see her. She's there as well. So they got the two Simonsons there. Bart Sears. I did meet Bart Sears at Rhode Island Comic Con last year. He ended up uh, giving my son uh, a signed poster. So that was really cool, really kind of him. Clay Man, there you go, another good artist, modern day artist. Aaron Cooter. So some of these are, uh, like I said, this is a pretty stacked lineup. Ben Purse, Benjamin Percy, another great writer. Oh, wow, we got another legendary artist. Uh, he often comes to Terrificon. It's um, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. He's well known for his DC runs. He's been, he's been in the comic book industry for a very long time. You got uh, Ron Garney, which is going to be there uh, specifically for Berserker because um, Keanu Reeves is also going to be there, which is pretty cool to see Keanu Reeves at a comic show. Um, I believe he's only going to be there on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, they're going to be doing a special signing on Friday, which I'm not going on Friday. Um, wondering what those prices are going to be, but, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, David Mack. Oh man. Love his watercolor styled artwork. Um, I'm probably going to be honest. I'm going to bring my, uh, Daredevil 9. Um, and get that signed by him. Yeah, I ended up getting that book a OK to me by Rayman uh, a few years ago when I went um, comic book hunting at the uh, Grafton Flea Market. So I might just bring that and get it signed by him. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Lee Weeks, there you go. Brian Stelfreeze, that's cool. I like I like his artwork too. Uh, Klaus Jansen, he was there uh, two years ago when I went. Um, I forgot what book I got signed by him, but um, another legendary artist has been in the field for a couple of decades at least. Bob Hall, another one. Um, yeah, just some great 70s, 80s artwork. Dave Johnson, like I said, this list, I don't know how long I've been talking for now, but it is stacked. Scott Hanna, he's been going there for the last few years. Uh, I ended up getting my Elsa Bloodstone, number one, signed by him. Uh, great guy, really nice guy. June Bringman. Jerry Ordway, he's a regular there at Terrificon. You know, really nice guy to talk to. Definitely check him out. Coley Hamner. Uh, let's see, Bob McCloud, he's been going there regularly as well. Kyle Starks, I'm not familiar with. Um, Uncle Al Mil <laughs> has a bunch of us in the, in the uh, comic book community that call him Uncle Al. Uh, so uh, Al Milgram, a uh, great, great uh, artist. He's To me, he's definitely legendary. Um, he, uh, I believe he inked um, Werewolf by Night issue number 32. So uh, the book definitely near and dear to me. 
Um, but I don't know if I'd ever crack that book open and get it signed. But uh, definitely a great guy, really cool guy to talk to. Uh, Dean Haspiel, not familiar with. Mike Choi, definitely, I definitely know him. Great art, cover artist. Um, has a lot of modern work. Let's see. Gene Ha, he's done a lot of cool covers as well. Des Taylor, I'm not familiar with. Steven Butler, interesting. It's interesting how there's a Sonic the Hedgehog book on there. I might have to look to see what other uh, books he's done. Because they, um, I might, if I have any of the issues, I might want to get one signed by him. But I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research. I gotta be, I gotta be, you know, conscientious too because. Um, I'm going to be bringing probably a couple of store folios with me um, and um, to get signed by, you know, I'm, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to submit any books for grading. CGC and CBCS are not going to be there. There's going to be um, facilitators there. Uh, Captured Collectibles is going to be there. We're going to go over some of the exclusives in a little bit. But um, I am not a big fan lately to be submitting through uh, third-party facilitators because they often charge an arm and a leg. And uh, when you have a CGC paid membership, um, it pays to actually submit directly through them, you know? So that's just my two cents on that. There's definitely a purpose for the facilitators, but in this case, when they charge you quite a bit at shows, it's not really in my best interest. Stuart Sager, not familiar with him. Rui Nebris, uh, another, uh, it says legendary artist. Not too familiar with his artwork, to be honest. Um, so please don't roast me on that. I, I just, you know, I don't, I don't know his artwork. Renee Wittenstatter, she's there almost, I want to say every year. She's there quite a bit. She does a lot of the sensational She-Hulks. Um, Barbie, yeah, I'm not familiar. <laughs> but yeah, she's there almost every single year. They're in at uh, Rhode Island Comic Con. Uh, John Jang, love John Jang. Shout out to the Jang gang. Um, I believe he's been going now for, this will be his third year. Um, I saw him there two years ago. Super nice guy, he does amazing modern day artwork. His detail is fantastic. Um, I gotta check to see if I have any exclusives left to get signed by him, but he'll definitely have some at his booth. Super nice guys, prices are definitely reasonable. Um, easy, super easy guy to talk to. Uh, Billy Tucci, he's often there as well. Tana Ford, I am not familiar with Tana Ford. Greg LaRock, uh, great 80s uh, artist, but uh, definitely not gonna bring any stuff for me to get signed by him. Oh, there you go. One of the legendary inkers in the game, Joe Rubenstein. He goes there almost every single year and to as well uh, Rhode Island Comic Con. I've met him several times. Super nice guy. Uh, definitely a health germ. He does not like to be uh, touched or uh, hands, sh you know, sh shaking hands and stuff like that. But he's a super nice guy. He does some great sketches as well for you at the shows. But um, I've, I've had so many things signed by him over the years. Really, really nice guy. If you haven't met him, please meet this guy. Super nice. Same with this next guy right here, Joe St. Pierre. Met him several times as well. Rhode Island Comic Con and uh, Terrific Con. Really, really cool artist and uh, nice guy. Adriana Mello, not familiar with her. Joe as we get in towards the bottom, it's going to be people I'm not as too familiar with. Jim Calafiori, I recognize the name. He's gone there a couple of times. Uh, same with Sean McManus. But these guys I am not too familiar with. We're getting towards the, the bottom of the list. Dan Parrott, I am definitely familiar with him. Uh, Keith Williams, another great artist. Uh, definitely familiar with his Captain America uh, covers as a USA agent. Yep. He's been there a few times as well. Uh, Terry Cavanaugh. Um, I am tempted to bring my Mark Spector Moon Knight uh, issue there. I have that issue. Maybe get signed by him. Tempted. Very tempted. Uh, Carl Potts. I actually have 
Punisher War Journal, number one, signed by him. I have never met him. He's done some great, great covers. As you can see, a lot of good Punisher covers in Venom. Uh, Paul Kupperberg, another great writer. Um, definitely familiar with him. I've read some of his issues in Supergirl. Definitely like his writing. Mighty Keen, I'm not familiar with. B Buzz, <laughs> great name. <laughs> Lily Butler. Uh, Jose Marzan Jr. Uh, Chris Campagna, I have met several times at uh, Rhode Island Comic Con. Really nice guy. Jim Tornes, Rich Marizio, uh, Jim Sulacrup, I have not met him, but I, um, apparently he wrote, did he write Spider-Man in the Wolf? I'm not sure. Um, Barbara Friedlander, she's been at Terrificon a few times. I, I do recognize the name. I, of course, know Michael Golden. He's definitely one of the legendary artists in, in the game, especially for Marvel. Um, he's done so many, so many great, great covers. Art de Sudium, yep, I am familiar with him as well. He's gone there a couple of times. Rachel Ordway as well. Uh, I'm not familiar with Nicole Jelenic. Ken Landgraft, all right. Bob Almond, yep, I am familiar with the name. Um, he's going to be there. Punk Taco, interesting. Adam and Makanya Walenta. Yeah, that sounds like a, like a little father-son uh, creative uh, comic book. That's pretty cool. Punk Taco, I like that. Yeah. Um, Ryan Gary Brown, of course I am familiar with, with Ryan Brown. Uh, he's done some great covers for TMNT, especially the last Ronin. Um, I believe he's done a few exclusives for Barry Gary. Uh, very, very great uh, Turtles art, cover artist. Brian Penry. Wow, that's some... Holy crap. Um, I, almost, I am tempted to buy that Sonic the Hedgehog number one and get it and get it signed. I, I've, been, I've been looking on that book for a little bit, but I haven't just, like, hit the button and bought it yet. Maybe there'll be one at the show. We'll see. Pete Collins, I am not familiar with. Matthew Sumo. Nope. Bill McKay, I'm not familiar. Ken Wheaton, I'm sure we've all known Ken Wheaton. He's a well-known artist. Um, he was on the uh, Big Bang Theory as well. So um, I know a couple of the guys. I believe Chris, Boston Chris, is going to go meet him. So shout out to you, buddy. James Mulligan. <laughs> what a picture. Chris Gugliotti. Uh, I guess he's... Does the Feral that? Oh yeah, that that series is a new, new title that just came out. Ryan Leary Jr. I am familiar with the name. Matthew the Mossy. He does these really cool shattered glass uh, covers. Mark Sparacio. I'm not familiar with that name. Roy Richardson. Keith Champagne. These are some guys I'm not familiar with here. Ralph Macchio. I am familiar with the name. No, not the. Uh, Cobra Kai karate, you know, uh, actor, but the actual writer. <laughs> um, Glenn Greenberg, I am not familiar. Tom Wynn, uh, I am familiar with his artwork, of course. There's a great cover of his. Um, Frank Kadar, could be pronouncing that incorrectly. Apologize. Jason May. David Wenzel, I believe he's been there a few times. So, uh, so you got some exhibiting artists. Um, Javon Stokes, Brendan and Brian Fram. <laughs> These pictures, man, this is great. George Deep, Ted Sikora, V. Ken Marion, um, Time, Tom, uh, Time, Tom Ryan Studio. Jason Rosen. A lot of these guys I'm not familiar with whatsoever. Skylar Godwin. Cliff Corno. I have. That's cool. Yeah, he's the promoter for Cliff's Con. Uh, if you ever get a chance, if you're in the Connecticut area, definitely check out Cliff's Con. It's usually the um, last Saturday, as I said, every last Saturday, Sunday 
of almost every month in Plainville, Connecticut. I've been to the show. It's a great show. Matt Ryan. And then uh, that's it. So these are the, um, the comic creators is where they're going to be on the map. Uh, you know, just for uh, purposes of looking around. There is some creators that did cancel, which I am disappointed. Joe Jusco uh, would have loved to get a, a book signed by him. Howard Mackey, he canceled, unfortunately. Jim Starlin canceled again. Um, I, I've had some a bit of uh, misfortune trying to meet Jim Starlin. Um, the last time I tried going to Terrificon twice, I believe twice, he's canceled. He's been just, you know, sick. Uh, whatever the case may be, cancel again this year, which is a bummer. I've had to get my uh, Infinity Gauntlet number one. He was the only one I needed signed by him, and I brought the book with me with the intentions of cracking it and signing it, but he wasn't there. But thankfully, with captured collectibles, uh, they were able to get it signed uh, for me. So like, that's why I said, like, th there are some perks to be, you know, facilitators. But um, yeah, it's a bummer. He's not going to be there. Um, so that is the artists. Um, uh, let's see who else is there. Um, Jim Lee film. Ah, do you guys want to be some of the film guests? Um, there's a there's often great great uh, you know celebrities actors actresses, voice actors in there as well. Charlie Cox is going to be a big one. Um, Colby Smolders, she was on, um, uh, what do you call it, Winter Soldier. Uh, Michael Rooker, he's been there a few times. So, um, just going to point out some of the notable ones. Martin Cove, I'm actually watching uh, Cobra Kai right now, season uh, five. I just finished that up, starting season six. So that's pretty cool. And the cool thing about this show is that because it's a casino, these guys go out in and out all the time during the day. You know, they go to get some bite to eat or a bar or something like that. You can walk up to these people in the casino and not even know they're there. You just walk right by them. So you can easily go up to these guys and uh, actors and actresses and just, you know, say hello, which is great about this show. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, Star Trek um, actors there. I believe I saw one of the uh, panels. Um, you could do like a meet the whole, you know, group for uh, X amount of dollars. So that's pretty cool if you're a big Star Trek fan. Um, so I'm just scrolling through really quickly just so you guys can see. It's from the Chips reunion. That's pretty cool. Um, there you go. Robert Burke. I guess some wrestlers. There's always going to be wrestlers there. He was actually Samoa Joe. He played, uh, oh, crap. The guy from Twisted Metal, I'm drawing a blank. Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, let's see who else. I'm just going through this quickly. Like I said, Keanu Reeves is also going to be there uh, talking about his book. He's going to do a book signing. Um, yeah, a lot of people there. And there you go. And there's their prices. You can go on their website and check it out. You know, I always recommend checking it out ahead of time. Because, um, you know, somebody who's on a budget, you know, it helps to uh, know how much money you're going to go in, into the uh, con. Because you also got to pay for food, drinks, uh, signatures, if you want to buy books, that, that adds up. You want to buy exclusives, that also adds up. So when I'm talking about exclusives, let's talk about the uh, some of the uh, Terrific Con 2024 exclusives. Uh, capture collectibles. Uh, on their website, they um, have several of the exclusives that are going to be there at the show. You got this uh, Chitara number one, Terrificon exclusive gold logo variant. You know, um, Big Time Collectibles has been doing a lot of these as well. I kind of like the uh, Chitara cover. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm personally not going to be chasing any of these uh, exclusives. Um, not really some of the titles I'm reading, personally. So it's not going to be something I'm going to be chasing. Feral, it's going to be doing, it's an homage to, um, oh crap, what's that title? Um, I am drawing a blank and I apologize. 
<laughs> I'm gonna add it on there in a second. Um, it's the uh, the conspiracy uh, theory uh, book. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, it's by uh, Javon Jordan. I'm surprised Javon Jordan's not gonna be there. He was there uh, two years ago when I was there. Um, because he does a bunch of exclusives as well. Uh, Hello Darkness number one. I have no clue what that is. Um, another terrific on exclusive, and I like how they have the prices on here, so you kind of have a ballpark idea of what you're going to be spending. Nice House by the Sea, it's the spinoff to Nice House on the Lake. Um, have not read it yet, it's by uh, James Tiny in the Fourth. Um, I do like the question mark looking uh, cover, that's pretty cool. Uh, these Street Fighter covers are always pretty neat. Uh, I believe they're done by Udon Publishing, um, for the most part. Uh, but this is a cool uh, swimsuit cover. I do like some of the swimsuit covers, and that's kind of, it's like a, you know, eye candy type of covers. People, you know, love that. They like to, to collect it. I don't buy many of them. I don't think I have many at all. But uh, I do like the Chun-Li covers. This one, I do like this one a little bit better than that one. Um, and then this is the other one, which I am not a big fan of. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's called Fame, Eminem Terrific Con Exclusive by David Sanchez. I do like David Sanchez's artwork, but uh, if I'm going to be completely honest, I, there's something about this cover that I do not like. And from what I've seen, this is already sold out. Wow, holy crap. Uh, it says Eminem Terrific Con Bridging Exclusive by David Sanchez. There's a foil, and then there's... Uh, Signature Series 9.8 Remarked, that is all sold out. They only have this left, and they're asking 200 bucks, man. Holy crap. I know it's going to be limited. This is the foil right here. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's not for me. Uh, I believe these are often biographies of the, um, of the, whoever the individual is on the cover. Um, I don't know. It's just not for me. If you guys are a big Eminem fan and you like the, uh, the cover, let me know. I, if I can get my hands on one, I'll get one because it looks like it might sell out. And it might, who knows, it might do well on the third, on the secondary market. But um, uh, 30 bucks. So these are not, these are reasonable. Uh, 25 to $30. Um, but for the most part, I won't likely not buy any of these because it's just not really my thing. Uh, especially when it's a, these are titles I'm not really reading. But um, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys like my preview. I'm going to be uploading this uh, hopefully by hopefully by Friday. So you guys can at least look at it. Because um, I'm going to be there on Saturday. I'm going to be recording probably a bunch of content. I'm going to be there all day. It's going to be the first time I've been there all day. Usually I have to cut the day short. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be there on Saturday. If you guys are there, message me on Instagram uh, ahead of time if you want to meet up. Or if you see me walking around in the uh, in a Creator Alley or looking at some probably Golden Age books or something like that, uh, just say hi uh, and uh, we can chat. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. And until next time, Mark Smith the Comics.